So the first thing you need to do is get the yeast ready and start letting it, you know, bloom a little bit. So you need to take one package of yeast, or if you've got the big ones, uh, a big container, that's two and a quarter teaspoons of yeast. Two and a quarter teaspoons of yeast, one tablespoon of sugar that goes into that yeast, and that's going to be the only sweetness in the um, the dough. So it's only got a tablespoon of sugar, low calorie, <laughs> until you put the nuts in. Until you put okay. the so. Uh, one package of uh, yeast, one tablespoon of sugar. Sort of mix that around a little bit so everybody's happy with some sugar. And then you need a half a cup of, of warm water, you know, and not hot, hot, but a little bit, you know, not lukewarm, a little bit warmer. Mm -hmm. And actually, if you measure it, it's 110 degrees. But I don't do that. <laughs> so get a half a cup. Should feed a baby. Use that old wrist there and check. Okay. Put your warm water in, and then find something really tiny. I use a skewer, just because, and stir it around a little bit. To mix the water, and I just I you try to use something like just a fork or something because it always ends up sticking to the utensil, and then you lose some of the yeast. So stir that so it sort of blends, and then you can just let it you know raise it or rest at room temperature. But I sort of like to give it a little help, and so I turn my oven on and I stand right there. Turn and I've got electric oven just till it starts to warm up and then turn it off. So you're not much more than 80 to 100 degrees. And then that helps move the process along. I would say I do that a lot too, um, especially when it's so cold out in the winter. In the summertime, I don't ever do that hardly because it's 80 degrees in your house anyway, but so I just put it in my oven. Oh, I see you doing that. Okay. I'm going to change the speaker view so I have a better, better. You know, and I think, I think people who have gas, you've got that pilot. So yours might be warm enough as it is, yeah. you know, but just don't forget, because I've done that where I turn it on and I go to do something and then my yeast is in there cooking. Chopping nuts. Does that make too much noise? <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to that. <laughs> because we you need to get the bowl for the flour now. Mm -hmm. Bowl for the flour. Yes. Okay. Yeah. The the nuts are a, are the filling, so that's a separate process. Mm. You, know, you need a bowl and two cups of flour. I was so excited to do this today. I think it's the first time I've had lipstick on in about the last uh, <laughs> six months. Oh, wow. <laughs> my, my holes in my ears started to grow back. I know. I, I was almost, I thought it might look sort of tacky if I had big hoop earrings <laughs> on, so I didn't do my earrings. But I'm the same way. I haven't worn ear, earrings either. You, you got that mask. <laughs> Master. 
No, Heather's not showing. It's her. It's her. Uh, uh, I then, but because she's doing filming. Hi, Bob. Is it, you're th so this is my mom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just off camera because I'm trying to stay yeah. a little bit far away. Yeah. You mean you've got a sous chef? <sighs> yeah. Now, and I will say, so if have you ever made this? No, I never have made this because you always make it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I've never made it. Um, mm. We eat it. Yeah. Now this is the <laughs> traditional. Christmas morning, when everybody gathers to open gifts, they grab a cup of coffee and a piece of Bible. And I've gotten to the point I'm up to making six on <laughs> Christmas morning. Okay, so you got your two cups of flour. Everybody got flour in? Yep. <laughs> Need a half a teaspoon of salt. Does everybody have, I never thought, does everybody have a pastry blender? Yes. No. <laughs> no. 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 Okay. What you can do, if you don't have a pastry blender. Now, oh, you mean one of those? I have that. Yes. I thought you meant an electric one. I'm sorry. Oh, no, I, I do it the old fashioned way. Yeah. If you've got one of those, you just press, you know, <laughs> a couple pulses and you're done. Works. We work hard here to get this. So just sort of mix that around so the salt gets in. Oh! <laughs> I got my yeast in the oven. I'm taking mine out now, too. Taking your yeast out? Okay. It's got little islands in it. Yeah. Oh. This is kind of fun. <laughs> yeah. Even, so. even in the family, not even. Oh, sure. Yeah. Okay. You, uh, in this, you're going to, um, on your egg, you're going to put a yolk in the dough, but you're saving the white and you need to put that in a bowl a mixing bowl, whatever you're going to use to beat egg whites. So another bowl, either the mixing bowl, like I'm going to use my mixer, so I'll put that egg white in the mixer, or either just a bowl if you're going to do a hand one. Okay? <laughs> Is it one egg or two? No, it's just one. Oh, one. You got the eggs also for the it does, say, it does say two eggs. It says two eggs, but not, I mean, it. it's only one that's in the, if you read the uh, thing, it's in one egg yolk. The, the two eggs, because you, is for the whites. And so you've had, you have split one and you've got one white in your bowl. Then you get another egg and put just the white in. And then you throw away the other You yolk. either throw away the yolk or you, that's what you can use too for your. Oh, egg wash. Egg wash. So you make a little well in the center and then put your egg whites in the bowl that you're going to use to beat. And then you drop that one egg yolk in the center. Picture. Double chin. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this chin get it out for lower part here. <laughs> oh, shh. What? What'd you? Oh, you know, you didn't do it. I didn't know what I did. I didn't. This is what I did the other day. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> now, 
if you haven't put your egg yolk in, don't. <laughs> if you have put your egg yolk, take a spoon and a small bowl and just scoop that little guy out. Because we forgot something. Scoop him out. <laughs> Got it. This is not a professional cooking show. <laughs> you need some butter. You need some butter, Mom. Now you need your butter. <laughs> Okay, so your egg, egg yolk's out, and it really won't hurt if it's, if it's in there. It would hurt if we put the yeast in yet. Oh, I'm writing this down now. Do I cross this all out? <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're writing in pencil. <laughs> this may happen a couple times here. Okay. Question. So now, Pad to the rescue. Yeah, in our bowl, we've got a flour, half a teaspoon of salt, and we've got the other, uh, we've split the eggs. So the, there's an egg yolk in a little bowl and then the egg white in your beating bowl. Okay. And then I just take the um, butter and sort of just cut it up a little bit smaller. You're gonna blend this in, in like a pie crust with your blender. And it's just easy, you know, easier if you've got little pieces. It's actually a lot harder to talk and cook at the same time. Mm -hmm. Especially when you're over whatever <laughs> I am. <laughs> just sort of chop that up. That. Sharon, are you ready for the Food Network? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that, that, they're filming on um, home cameras too now. I oh, see okay. a senior woman. She's got her kids using iPhones. Oh. Summer shows, yeah. <laughs> okay, so when you get all that, all those little pieces into the flour, then use your pastry blender and then just start working that down so the butter is real fine in the. Um, so what do you recommend if you don't have a pastry blender? Okay, then you take two knives. Uh, Go back and forth. She's left. Oh, get two knives. knives. You know, it doesn't have to be sharp knives. You can just use um, just uh, flatware dinner knives. I used to use a fork, but a lot sticks between the tines. Yeah, and even on your pastry blender, you know, I mean, you have to keep breaking that off because you, you want it really fine. Uh, smaller, than smaller, peas, smaller, than peas. smaller than peas almost. You gonna check our work? <laughs> well, you better. I was gonna say you could hold. You could hold your. If you have a question, you can hold your bowl up, and we'll we'll <laughs> rate rate your blending. <laughs> Well, it's nice to see the yeah. snow stopped. Right, and see what happens. Oh, the coastline didn't have to be so How are you doing, Linda? I'm, I'm doing okay. Yeah, okay. Just sort of keep scraping around and make sure there's not big ones that get to the bottom. And okay, I gotta go work on the 
It's kind of cute. Right? It is. We're enjoying watching you all work, that's for sure. <laughs> well, I can't find my pastry blender anywhere, and oh. I have never used knives before. So this is a good experience for me. Okay, do you want to hear? Do you want to do, do it, you know, like this back and here. forth? Watch this. Cindy, if I can do it, you can do it. There okay, you I'm go. doing it. That's it. That's it. Bob, I'd like to see a rendering of this if you could. <laughs> <laughs> a little drawing of, of Cindy's knives. Sure. <laughs> and just that, I'm going to search after we're done until I find it. My daughter helped me redo my kitchen so it would be more efficient. <laughs> Kristen rearranged my pantry yesterday. So, yeah, a lot of things went away. I'm Judy. not one of those. Too much carbon. So, Mom, where did you get your pastry blender? I don't know. I think it's one of those Oxio. No, Oxo. I don't even know. Okay. Oh. Cause so, cause mine is my old, old, old one broke. Uh -huh. And then, you know, that the hinge popped off and I got another one, but it's got a flat bottom and you can, I can never get it. You know, it's more square, huh? I would try good that. Sort of, but it doesn't, you can't get up around the edge of the bowl yeah. very well. How we doing? Okay. Done. Okay. Now, remember that egg yolk? <laughs> now you can put it in. Now we make a, a little well in the center. Put your egg yolk in. I found it. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> she probably had it in a very logical place, huh? No comment. <laughs> well, you know, um, so, Mom, uh, oh, oh wait, Don wants to wait. There's somebody, somebody else is showing up here. Oh, Don, oh, Julie, maybe Julie Banyas. Um, so for years, I'm gonna, our, we had a certain way that all of the uh knives and the uh, utensils were in this and mom decided what like five years ago i don't know what you're gonna say no just to, to switch the uh, drawers around you know he used to i don't know there's a different way that well yeah. it, that stuff that's organized and so now every time we come back to the kitchen i can never find where the knives are it's because i got new cupboards I know. <laughs> when my mom remodeled her kitchen and got new cupboards yeah yeah, yeah. That was everything went to the basement and then while we're having Thanksgiving dinner and my relatives are coming up going, oh, Barb, I need this in this kit. I could not find anything. <laughs> I had to relearn. She had everything in a new place. So, Okay, now you're, hopefully, your, well, your yeast will have been sort of puffy like this now. Hopefully it's, it's worked its way. Oh, not quite. Not, mine's not good that good looking yet. Okay, have, okay. Maybe show Mine, it. Be fine. Mine's way over the side of the bowl. Oh <laughs> so, did you just put one one envelope in? Yeah, but a little bowl. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well so, quick it's we, fine. You know, and the, and the thing is the other ones, you know, there's times I'm in a hurry and it, this just helps it get started, but well, I wouldn't nice. worry about it. Why don't we just go ahead? Okay. Okay. You'll need a fork. And I use a little spatula to get every bit of the uh, yeast out and put it right in the center on top of that egg. 
the the sugar usually goes to the bottom too and you want to get all that sugar since you only got a tablespoon in you do them walk over there <laughs> no, i'm just getting stuff set up what's what's our oven um karen pardon tim Oven Put time. Tim for our oven. 400. Yeah, that's right. Thank you. Yes, 400. 400, please. It'll be, it'll be a little while. Okay. Now just start blending it around. I usually go and break up that egg yolk in the center in that liquid and then just start stirring around and blending in. And I've always found that it's just, you have to work at it a while. It's a little, a little dry. Sometimes I add just a few sprinkles of, but the warmth of that, um, warm yeast water will start to melt that butter a little bit. So you just sort of work it to make a dough, bringing up the dry that's on the bottom and sort of twirling it around. And that, I have a question. That warm yeast did not cook the egg yolk? No. It didn't cook. It's just warm. OK. You know. Probably have to clean off your fork and sort of take, if you see an area that's got butter and it's sort of mushy, then pull it over the dry flour to try to incorporate all that dry flour. And then I work, I work it and I sort of get that, the, anything that's dry in sort of one area. And then I go to the sink and get, so a little bit of warm water and just sprinkle it. You, you, you don't want a gooey, real sticky dough because that butter will even, you know, melt more as it sits for a little while. So a couple little sprinkles on any dry. Oh, oh, oh I guess I can't do this. Do, 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 do. So. Okay, I'm just going. There we go. Just a couple sprinkles. You can always add more, but you don't want to put too much in. Well, there we go. That, that's some quality camera work right there. <laughs> How's it going? Is it all sort of coming together? Kind of. Yes. I mean, okay. You know, even when it is, if it's soft, and even when it sort of looks like this, I would say you can stop and then I usually put it on a little board, a floured board. So with my hands, then just sort of work it into just like a good old Play-Doh, making a sort of mushing it all together and it'll pretty much clear the bowl and make a, a ball. And set it there in the center.
Okay, how's it going? Great. Everybody have you. their dough. Oh, and the thing is, you can even make that. You don't have to put it on something separate. You could could just leave it right in the bowl, and form a a mound in the center of the bowl. And then I usually cover it up, and put it back in that oven that we have that's a little bit warm. Oh, well, no, because if they've started preheat, if you've started preheating. Oh, that's right. See, I've got two ovens. Shoot. <laughs> Dang it. Okay. Put it over there on your stove around your nice warm oven. But don't put it in. Don't put it in. <laughs> You'll pre You'll precook. I never thought I would love this so much, this stove that's got a, a one shelf oven on top. But it's really nice. Okay, are we all together? You got it all formed and covered and someplace warm. I don't have a warm place. I only have one oven. And it's <laughs> yeah. Microwave. yeah. And that works. You can wave like a cup of water or something. And then when you're done, put your dough in the microwave that's been a little bit warm. And it'll rise better in there than on the counter. I, that works oh. for me. Oh, cool. what? Say that, your... Say that again. That's good. Um, sometimes when my husband makes bread, he puts it in the microwave, and that helps it rise a little faster. Like I will heat up a cup of water or something, heat up a cup of coffee, and then when I'm done, I'll put my dough in the microwave after it's been a little bit warm. Right, and it just gets warm from the heat of the, the residual heat from the microwave. Yeah, you're, not microwaving. you're not microwaving it. <laughs> no, okay. Or if you got a heating vent, <laughs> go put your bowl by a heating vent <laughs> if your heater's going. Okay, that's supposed to sit for 20 minutes. We'll see if it takes that long. But while that's doing that, now we'll make the filling, okay? Now this is where the recipe online is wrong. Um, so if you, for the filling, if you want to write this down, it's two cups of fine ground walnuts. And so, you know, I, I started out when I started making this, it, ha it almost has to be more than chopped. I, did you ever see those uh, grinders that you, twirl around like that and you put it at the top and it's got a little glass bottom and I, I used to do that. Yeah. Now I have um, a little grinder. So if you have any kind of grinder that you can use, um, can you use a coffee? Oh, well, that would, that yeah. would make it super fine. Well, um, this has to be pretty fine. Oh, okay. Mm. Because I didn't know if anybody was actually going to cook along or if you're just going to watch, I did because I'm making two of them. So I made these ahead of time so I can sort of show you. Okay. They, they re really need to be very fine. Sort of like, you know, you would make it like with baklava or something like that. Oh, well, the chopped ones you buy aren't quite fine yeah. enough. No, no, but you know, just take the chopped ones and with a knife or whatever you use for chopping, if you don't have a grinder of any kind, just well, I've got this keep trying grinder to... right here. Yeah, that that's all. Oh, see, that's what I used to use. That's great. Mm -hmm. And put those those nuts through that and grind them some more. Mm -hmm.
why don't you read to all those people who are oh, okay. about the nut roll? Okay. So I'm supposed to read to you now. <laughs> well, I keep thinking I have no <laughs> I'll do it real quick. Um, okay, so, and we ran into this because we were trying to figure out how to spell uh, this particular recipe. This particular recipe came from your friend Charlie's mom. Uh, grandmother grandma. from, uh, she's uh, Ger German Hungarian. Okay. Um, and so we know this as Beigel. 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 Um, spelling is variable. Um, oh, like nobody's here. I think everybody's chopping nuts. <laughs> um, so, but there's, there's sort of the same similar kind of role all through, you know, sort of that, um, German, Slo Slovakian, Hungarian area. So we've got uh, potitsa. Uh, it's also known as gubana or gubanaka in Slovenian. Ooh, I might, I don't even know about the Polish. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just I'm just gonna have to say, uh, yeah, Orechnovic, maybe Orechnovic in Slovak, uh, Benitsa in Bulgarian. So they're, they're, they're kind of this, you know, shared history of a nut roll. I don't know. I, I should ask uh, Diane if there's a, a oh, Czech, sure, Czech, Czech there's version a Czech. of this. I'm sure there is. I'm sure a there Czech is. version of this. I was going to uh, ask you if this was like pizza. My dad's grandma used to make that all the time. Oh, there we go. There, Potitsa. That's Potitza, the very, yeah. that's, the very first thing. Yeah. Slovenian. Yep. Yeah. So Slovenian. very much so. I guess you get you know you get dough, butter, and nuts together with some sugar, and you can't go wrong, yeah. right? <laughs> okay. I don't want to go on. Until yeah. Um, who's who's up in this corner? That is Laura. Oh, Linda. 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 And Cindy. Cindy. And Connie. There's, okay. I guess those are the, the, the three, the three, three cookers. cookers. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So Linda's back. You got your nuts? I got my nuts done. Okay. How's it going, Connie? Oh, I'm I have the wrong kind of blender. And so it's taking me a while, but go ahead. I'll catch up or I'll use fewer nuts or they'll be lumpy. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> and then I don't know where Cindy went. I've seen her dog walk through the screen a couple of times. <laughs> Cindy, are you there? I'm here. I'm just chopping up a little more. Okay. Chopping. Just chopping. Hey, I'm almost ready. Okay. Yeah, I'm done. I'm Heather, Heather, your your uh, explanation sounded a little bit like everybody's got a flood story. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Everybody's got a flood story. Yeah. But they were saying even within you know within a country it it would be, have a different name and some of some of the places I mean it's almost it's always got to have nuts but some places they put raisins in it or maybe an apples and in in raisins and nuts so you know it does it does vary uh, and there it was interesting this one place here in uh, Saint Savina Serbian sister nut roll recipe is one made by dedicated female volunteers three times a year. Thousands of rolls are sold to raise money for uh, the church in Maryville, Indiana. So. So sort of like uh, Ely Presbyterian. Colaches. Colaches. Yeah. Or the, the caramels, the monks, or whoever makes those caramels. Okay, well, we can start by, so you, uh, this, this will be two cups of nuts, 
two egg whites. And so you've already put in your bowl one egg white from that yolk we used in the uh, dough. So you need to crack another egg and put the egg white in the bowl to beat up um, for the filling. Save that yolk in a little bowl and we can use that for a, a wash. And, um, and then two teaspoons of vanilla and um, one cup of sugar. So you can mix, mix the one cup of sugar now and wherever you've got your nuts, just throw in one cup of sugar with your nuts. Heather, are you going to be the um, filmer, the Zoom camera for all of the? Um, well, I have offered my services. <laughs> okay. I will always be here for, I mean, be the one who opens it, because, but I can open the space from home if I want to. So, um, so it sort of depends on, you know, I can either... So if you're thinking about doing one of these at some point in time. No, 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 no. I was thinking yeah. about Abby and Kristen. Right, right. So at minimum, what I can do is bring over, I've got a series of um, tripods that can hold the camera. So you're not trying to balance it on, you know, yeah. all sorts of things, which is pretty handy. And as all of you guys who are trying to figure out how to cook and watch this are, are understanding. Yeah. When it started to snow, it was snowing pretty heavy over here. And Heather wasn't here yet. And I thought, shoot, now what happens if she can't make it? And I've got this little iPhone or my computer and I'll have to. And the thing is, my husband's not available because we've got a little puppy. And if, if we've got this dog in the kitchen, then nothing gets done. And so, but she came. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do, uh, while I, was, I think everybody's got their nuts ready, we're going to beat the two egg whites now to their stiff, and as they're beating, put in two teaspoons of vanilla. Okay. Make them nice and stiff. So it'll get, it'll get noisy here now.
start pouring in, you know, and folding at a lower speed, the nuts and the uh, sugar. How stiff do you need them? Oh, they just they'll stick. They won't fall off. They have to be pretty stiff. Very, very stiff. I don't know. It doesn't matter actually because you add the nuts and then it it's all yeah. delicious. Yeah. I'm sure there's some kind of temperature type things that happen. Yeah. 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 Or should we just sit and talk? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, what time are we at? Well, we're already almost at an hour. Then you might have to, you know, take your spatula and make sure all the egg whites got mixed in with the nuts, and that's your filling. Get our dough. Get our dough out now. Yeah. Karen? Okay. Yeah. Take your dough out. Hopefully, it's got a little bit of sponginess. This is the point at which, if you can let it go a little bit longer, you, you know, that's good. But. Yes. Does everybody have their filling made? Yep. I just froze up. Yep. My dough is pretty dense, though. Okay. See, this has been set before, and see, it's just uh -huh. now. Yeah. But I never wait. No. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm okay. All the fillings done. Yep. yep. Okay. Take your dough and cut it in half. This is going to make two rolls. Okay, and then you're going to need a, a cookie sheet. 
put them on when we get them done. Get a um, flower a surface wherever you want to roll this out because you have to roll it out a little bit. Lightly flower. And I always make a, re a rectangle. I noticed in that recipe it said 15 inch square. I mean, that's huge. Mm -hmm. And I can't imagine it being that big because if you make it really thin, I mean, it's not like a strudel or anything. If you make it really thin, all the filling is going to start popping out. And it, the filling does a lot of times come out through the, sometimes they turn out really messy sometimes. And actually, if your dough is a little stiff, don't worry about that because you'll probably have a firmer roll that'll stay put together. So, but I take half, take half and I make a rectangle, maybe 12 inches long and eight inches, maybe 12 by eight is about what? Um, so do you want to know how many square inches that is? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then just roll out the dough and keep flowering as you need. No matter what, it won't screw up, really. Because <laughs> you have all that nutty filling, so it, you hardly even are aware of the, uh, <laughs> the dough part. The dough part. So about how thin are you making it? OK, I, I read one place where they said a quarter, an eighth of an inch. An eighth of an inch. About yep. an eighth of an inch. Okay. Here comes some cameraing. Okay. That's about, and I don't, I'm not a Martha Stewart. It's not perfectly, but that's about what it looks like. So <laughs> here we can go and we can even see how, so it's pretty thin. There we go. I'll just hold it here. Then you're gonna put your filling and be careful, don't go to the very edges. Yeah, and half of it. And only half, half of the filling, of course, yeah. And, but leave maybe a half an inch all the way around. Okay, so the filling uh, is what? What am I mixing? Is that the sugar, the nuts, and what else? It's sugar, nuts, and the egg whites. Did you okay, beat, good. Did you beat egg two egg whites? Yes, but I was probably beating when you gave that instruction, so. Okay, two egg whites with two teaspoons of vanilla. Yep. And then you mix the nuts, two cups of nuts, yep. and yep. one cup of sugar. Yep. Mix that all together, and that becomes your filling. Perfect, thank you. And you use and half you of it. And then just, you know, get a knife or something to spread it out. Did you say about one inch to the sides? Um, half an inch. No. Half an inch. Yeah. 
half an inch, a generous half inch, because you don't want people to not get nuts. Okay. Hmm, that looked like such a big blob of it, but it really is no, it's spread out. Nice. Pretty spread out. Yeah. Yes. Look at this. Beautiful. Ooh, beautiful. I could just quit now. <laughs> okay, now this is the, the little tricky part because you're, you're going to roll it up like you would roll for cinnamon rolls. <clears throat> and sometimes, I mean, it won't go all at once. And so you have to just sort of loosen it with your thumbs at the bottom, loosen it, and then just sort of roll it. And can you see what I'm going to use? Oh, she's just. Oh my goodness! What is what that? That's a Lefsa Turner. No, 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 no. There, there you go. A Lefsa. Lefsa Turner. Lefsa Turner. There you go. And and what I usually do is go right up to the edge, and then that other side, the top side, bring it over. Don't. When you get right to the top, then you bring that top part over. It's going to explode. Okay. Oh, you got a little. <laughs> Is that somebody's phone or? I think that's my Cindy's phone. Okay. I'm next trick, the next trick part is to get, it, to get it on the pan. Okay, you know what I would do? What? So uh, I would have put a piece of maybe parchment paper down because then you could just lift it off, lift the whole parchment paper and onto your pan. Yeah. I use parchment paper all the time now. Okay, there's a good idea. Then you don't have to lift it. But let's, you... let's see you lift it. <laughs> okay. And you want it, that top seam, you want it to be underneath. Oh, see, that wouldn't work then because the parchment. You know, it would, well, but it, yeah, you could roll it on the parchment. Yeah. It's easier. You wouldn't have to pick it up. Have you greased your pan? No. Okay. Okay. You pick uh, it up, uh, yeah. seam side down, and then I pinch the ends so the good stuff stays inside. Pitch the two ends. And there you go. And you'll be able to get both of them on one pan. So, you know, put it on the side. Don't put it right in the middle because you'll get the then, other one here. Can we cook it on the parchment paper? Yeah. 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 So, I mean, that's a good idea, uh, that parchment paper, because then, then you would just do one last roll to get that seam underneath. I, I mean, I would think. That would work. Yeah. And then you know, also know 100% that if some stuff leaks out, it doesn't stick you to the yeah. pan. But the stuff that leaks out is it's really the best part. Is the best part because <laughs> it's just like walnut candy. <laughs> okay, do your second one. I need some music. Put some music on. I like that tango. German music. German music. I don't have any German music. Go on, um, let's see. Pandora and say German music. Make a station, a German station. Okay. Oh, here, I know I, what I do have. Uh, I don't swear. Oh. You've got Pandora, you can put German music in and they'll give it yeah. to you. I think that's what she's doing. Don't okay. Clean 
cleanup crew. <laughs> Bob. Bob. Not, not, you. not you, Bob. The Bob here. Oh, oh. Bob. oh good. That's great. Yes. Bye, Bobby. In. Yeah, I get my cleanup crew later. Sharon's making dinner, and I get to do the dishes. Uh -huh. Rick does that here. That's the way it works at our house, too. They're all still improved. My house, too. This is Good. Bob here. My house, <laughs> Okay. We've got a little Mozart. I figure he's, he's in that general vicinity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe, maybe Fred could come, like like in the old silent movies, and he could he could play. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and if something starts going wrong, like with the egg yolk, all yeah. of a sudden you get this like you know suspenseful music. <laughs> Retrieve that egg yolk. <laughs> Is this for your cooking show, Karen? <laughs> <laughs> this looks good even before it's cooked. Yes. I would wait till you bake it though. Oh, who's whose dog is that? all I do all day long. I let the dog in, I let the dog out. <laughs> so do I. <clears throat> in there. <laughs> no, no two bagels are the same. Bagels are the same. <laughs> they have their own personalities. I mean, even when you roll them up. Okay, okay, we probably should, you know, we'll wrap it up here. Oh, okay. You know, because it's 20 minutes resting, 20 minutes baking. Nobody wants oh, to stay right. that much Oh, right, yeah, longer. for that long. Okay. Okay, everybody have their two rolls done? Yes. Okay, now if you want to make them really pretty, you should have one egg yolk left. Yeah. And mix it with some water or some cream or milk and uh, brush on the outside of your bagel. Oh, you put uh, egg yolk? You put what on it? I actually usually use a whole egg. Uh huh. I usually beat a whole but egg in milk water. In well, you can do either. I, I actually Googled it. Yes. Uh -huh. Some people use cream. I've, I've never used. I use what usually use water and a whole egg. Uh huh. Yeah, that's usually what I use. But I didn't know I didn't know you could put any kind of cream or milk on it. Yeah, people do. Hmm. Well, I mean, it just takes. Where's your other egg yolk? Um. Well, see, it's in the. Don't ask me about my eggs. Okay. <laughs> because <laughs> I it's in the other. Oh, gotcha, I got, gotcha. I've, oh. I've got to make two more of these after this now. <laughs> gotcha. Okay, so just your egg. To tell you the truth, I've never done it with just a yolk. I usually use the I whole egg. I bet you could put it with just a little extra. What? I'm trying to think. I have, I have a bread that I think you use the extra yolk. Martha, <clears throat> you know that bread recipe yeah. that you pour in? Yeah. What is that just an egg yolk that you brush it with the top with, or is it the whole egg? Um, I don't know. I'll have to go look. Yeah, I can't remember either. I'll see if I can find it. It might be just the yolk with a little water. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's husband's doing the cleanup duties. 
you and clean up to you. Still safe. Oh yeah, two more to do anyway. Okay, now I think we're gonna wrap this up because if we're gonna do it right, <laughs> you should let this sit in a warm place for 20 minutes and then okay. put it in the oven and bake it at 400 for 20 to 30 minutes. Okay. Hey. Unless, unless you want to uh, sit here and talk for another 45 minutes <laughs> while everybody's... <laughs> So this this is actually where you know you're supposed to pull out and pulling out from the oven. <laughs> well, you know what? I was going to do that. I was almost going to do that, and then I thought, shoot. Then that means I've got six bagels, and I don't want six bagels because <laughs> I wanted to see. I also made one for the uh, raising, and it ended up between yeah. our talking and and, and, and the, making the filling. That was about twenty minutes. So, you know. There in, you know, I, there's times, plenty of times that I don't even let it sit for the last 20 minutes. I think maybe it would get a little bit lighter. I don't know. Sometimes I just, at this point, pop them in the oven. So oh. whatever you want to do. So, well, thank you very now, much. Aaron, I'm really excited. I've never done this before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. So what we have lined up for the next few weeks, and I think I've got everybody well, I'm taller than my mom. <laughs> there you go. Um, so next week is uh, Cindy making Swedish yellow pea soup. That's one that if you want, if you want to cook along with Cindy, you need to tell her uh, ahead of time so you can get a yellow pea soup pack because yellow peas are not something you can buy in their stores anywhere in cedar rapids and so she's ordered some and has has put those that what up, up to 32 people <laughs> with okay. a pound of peas you she, she had 32 pounds of yellow peas linda is raising her hand yeah i wanted to <laughs> put, okay, put, her your, put her on your piece you're interested in yellow pea soup <laughs> okay I'm interested in yellow pea soup also. The kits will be at the church on Tuesday, so you can pick them up Tuesday through Friday. Cool. Okay, okay good. Right. Cindy, this is Connie. Do you have me down on your list? I signed up online. I yeah. bet I do. Yeah, you. Yeah, she, you do. Yeah. Okay. And we don't uh, need any ham. No ham. Yeah, you'll need to, you'll need to have your own ham, What? whatever your choice of ham is. Okay. And I'll be posting the recipe up online on the website here. Cause I think you just sent that to me, right, Cindy? I'm sending it to you today. Okay. Yeah. So I'll have that and then I'll put that up so you can look and make sure. Yep. Linda. I, I don't eat meat. So I guess I, I didn't know there's going to be ham. So oh, I, I... Linda, do the vegetarian one. I'll, you can do vegetarian. Yeah. All right, great. Yeah. And it is delicious as well. Um, I have a couple and, of questions. And what? Two questions. Okay. Well, one, your uh, your recipe, Heather, you put butter on the top of the bread. Butter on the top it of the bread. Okay. Have an egg yolk. I was and thinking about my other question, when you are finished with those rolls, do you slice them up or do you just pull them apart? You slice them. Oh, wait, 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 slice you, them. You're oh, you're, no, oh. no, it slices. Okay. It, it has a nice swirl to it. All right. Oh, okay. but I didn't. Uh, <laughs> How big? Yeah. yeah I see. Okay. How big are they? As what? big as you want. Okay. You know, you just slice it. You know, as big as you want. But I, I also did forget. I'm going. We're going to have to give, put this recipe out. Right. Is then <laughs> when they're done then you put a sugar, a powdered sugar icing on it. And that can vary however you like it. You know, I like to have it just sort of either making a glaze and put it on when it's just a little bit warm and it melts. Yeah. Or either if it's already cooled, I do sort of a runny one and just make like strings of icing with a fork. 
And then some people like just sock on just like an iced uh, cinnamon roll, put a lot of icing on. So it just depends how you like it. But that sort of finishes it off. Yeah. And then, then you slice it and arrange it yeah. beautifully on a plate. It looks really nice. You know, it's a, it's a fancy, you know, presentation you can mm -hmm. make. 